Good morning, my friends. Today is Monday, February 7th, Monday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time. It's day 21 of Be Formed. And uh, speaking of Be Formed, we have some people who are organizing gatherings, uh, obviously safe gatherings. So uh, Tuesday this week, February 8th, tomorrow, um, there'll be adoration at the cathedral from 3 to 7. And uh, so people of Be Formed are just gathering there to pray. Um, we ask you to bring your workbooks just to kind of identify yourself. Uh, the be formed, uh, folks are going to be sitting as you're facing the altar, uh, the middle section to the left, you know, left facing the altar. So if you want to join us from three to seven, I personally, I can't be there, but, uh, Katie will be there for a little while and other be formed, uh, people will be there to, to pray with. As I, prayed with the readings today, the word that jumped out at me is scurried. So in the gospel today, uh, Jesus and his disciples make it to the other side of uh, the sea. People recognized him and it says they scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. So when you hear the word scurry, images come to mind, right? I think of, you know, when I was in Rome and the Pope was coming by, people would scurry to get a a good spot. I've been to uh, concerts where it might be open seating and people scurry to, to get up front. Black Friday, we see people scurrying all over stores to get their, their favorite gift. Or if there seems to be a celebrity around, people will scurry to get close to them. There's a sense of urgency uh, when you hear the word scurry. And uh, so they laid the sick uh, by Jesus. They begged him that they might even just touch the tassel on his cloak. And as many who's, who did it were, were healed. So if I think about this, do we scurry to meet Jesus? Do we, is it an urgent matter? You know, in the, in the first reading from the first book of Kings, the King Solomon built uh, the temple for the Lord. And they, they brought in great fanfare. They brought in the Ark of the Covenant. And it said there was nothing in the Ark but the two stone tablets. So this, this the Ten Commandments were uh, made by God for his people. And boy, did they uh, honor uh, that presence of God among them in the Ark of the Covenant. Think about it now in in the Catholic Church, we have the very presence of Jesus, body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist. In the sacraments, Jesus is reaching out to touch us in baptism, confession, uh, communion. Um, We have the sacrament of holy matrimony and holy orders. We have the sacrament of the anointing of the sick and confirmation. All of these sacraments are encounters with the living God. And yet, not many people scurry to meet Jesus. Why is that? Maybe we don't believe. Maybe we don't believe. And, you know, a lot of people today say I'm, uh, I'm spiritual but not religious. What that generally means is that I, I can pray anywhere, but I don't believe in any institutional church. Uh, but to think about it, I think Jesus formed the church so that we would have this, this guiding ship leading us back to him with a teaching authority and uh, the beauty of the sacraments, all of these things that we need in order to guide us on the way back. It would almost be like saying, you know, let's just not have families. Let's just, you know, let children just kind of go wherever they want and hopefully they turn out well. Uh, the church is this, this maybe an institution, but it's divinely inspired and guided by the Holy Spirit to lead us back to the Lord. So let us think about in our own lives, when was the last time I scurried and what was it for or who is it for? And do I scurry to meet Jesus in the sacraments at church, to hear his word preached, to, to take part in the sacraments? Do I scurry to the Lord? And like the people in the gospel, do I scurry to bring others to Jesus as well? If this is an urgent matter, and, and it is, it's life and death. We should scurry to find the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the gift of your church, the gift of the sacraments. 
Just ask you to flood us with your Holy Spirit. Help us to have that sense of urgency that this is a life and death matter, our faith. And help us to bring others to your son Jesus so that they may be healed and we may be healed. We may become the faithful disciples you call us all to be. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Uh, Please again, like, subscribe, and share. Think of one person that this video might help today and share it with them. God bless.